What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're gonna be talking about all camel challenges to expect in Modern Warfare 2. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because we're very close to 100,000 subscribers here on the main channel. Really appreciate it. Also drop a like and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, Warzone Mobile, and any other future Call of Duty as well. Real quickly, a Modern Warfare 2 PlayStation 5 bundle has been announced and it will cost $560. It's available exclusively in the United States from PlayStation direct and it does come with a digital game code which is kind of ironic considering the ps5 itself does have a disc tray here in this pack but it just doesn't have a physical copy of modern warfare 2 which is strange it'll be available starting on october 28th but you can pre-order it right now if it's still available thought i'd bring that up real quickly but we have new information coming out from a twitter account known as the ghost of yeah i'm not gonna say the full name there and a lot of this information that has been posted has been dmca claimed and that just tells you there's some legitimacy behind this account so this this person went ahead and revealed all upcoming camel challenges to expect for the different weapon types in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Again, this is early information, so keep in mind it's subject to change. Take it with a grain of salt, but I think as of right now, this is a fairly accurate list. Starting off with the good old knife. 50 injured kills, 50 backstabs, 30 dead silence kills, 50 stance change kills, stance change means crouching kills most likely, 25 double kills, 25 kills in smoke, 10 buzz kills, 25 executions, and 10 streaks. Most likely 3 to 5 kills without dying, like we've seen in other Call of Duty games. Now, as you can see, that's 9 challenges for the knife itself, and it's not the final number of camels that'll be available on each weapon, but that gives us an idea of how many camels to expect for specific weapon types. And Maybe this is the final list and we just don't know it yet. But then for snipers, it is 450 kills, 60 headshots, 50 stance change kills, and then 50 one-shot kills, 50 long shots, 50 holding breath kills, 150 full attachment kills, 25 double kills, 75 no attachment kills, and finally 25 street kills, which again is most likely 3 to 5 kills without dying. Sniper challenges in other Call of Duty games tend to be a little frustrating, so we'll have to wait and see how that actually ends up here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I do think considering the variety of different modes we're going to have in this game, such as 6v6, then Ground War, Third Person, Invasion, and a bunch of other AI-centric modes, it'll be curious to see what strategies the community ends up coming up with to complete some of these challenges. And same goes for the knife as well. I mean, you have to use Dead Silence for some of those challenges, so I think people out there will find some pretty creative ways to get a lot of these done. But then for shotguns, 400 kills, 75 stance change kills, 75 hip fire kills, kills, 50 point blank kills, 50 headshots, 100 full attachment kills, 30 reload kills, 110 no attachment kills, and then 30 streaks, most likely 3 to 5 kills without dying. I'm curious what they mean by 30 reload kills. I wonder if that means, you know, right after you reload, get a kill instantly. I'm assuming that's what that means, but if you have any better ideas about this, let me know down below in the comments. I have not been much of a camel grinder in recent years for Call of Duty. I know for Cold War, I was super busy making content, so I had a friend of mine actually hop on my account and get Dark Ether for me, but for Modern Warfare 2, I'm considering putting out a series where maybe every day we put up a stream going for, uh, uh, mastery completion on a specific weapon and we'll go from there until we unlock the final mastery camo in the game itself but shotguns were pretty op during the beta so i don't think people will have an issue getting shotgun kills and camels unlocked when the game does fully launch but then for pistols we have 250 kills 50 headshots 40 stance change kills 30 hip fire kills, 30 long shots, 25 reload kills, 110 full attachment kills, 25 double kills, 75 no attachment ones, and then 25 street kills. And the pistols were fairly impressive during the beta. I know even Lego Unlock made a video talking about the one shot pistol you were able to get in the beta itself. And I think people out there did get a bit confused with the gunsmith during the beta because there were quite a few weapons that you were able to use but couldn't customize. You didn't have a gunsmith to really work with for some of the weapons. So we didn't really get to see the full potential of a lot of these weapons as well as the pistols so i do think when the game does fully come out we're gonna have a much better understanding of just how good some of these weapons really are but then for smgs we have 500 kills 100 headshots 110 stance change kills 100 hip fire kills 50 long shots 50 mounted kills 250 full attachment kills 40 reloads 75 no attachment kills and then 25 streaks 
So I think those mounted kills are going to be pretty fascinating. It's only 50, but that's a lot. I mean, easier said than done. I think mounting and getting kills while mounting isn't really that difficult. People have gotten used to that since MW19. They got to do it quite a bit in Warzone and Vanguard. Not Cold War, but seeing that again here in Modern Warfare 2 is going to be quite the challenge. I think there are quite a few maps out there where you might see it a little difficult to actually get some mounting kills. So we'll have to wait and see how that ends up working out at some point when the game does drop. But SMGs were also pretty good in this game. I think it was a pretty good fight between ARs and SMGs during the beta. I mean, both were proven to be fairly overpowered. Maybe ARs in most cases, but we haven't seen all the SMGs yet either, so I'm very excited to see how this ends up living up to the full launch of the game. So now for LMGs, we have 525 kills, quite a bunch, 75 headshots, 65 stance change kills, 45 hip fire kills, 45 long shots, 45 mounted ones, 180 full attachment kills, 30 double kills, 75 no attachment kills, and 25 streaks. So that's quite a few kills, definitely more than the other weapon classes, which is fair considering you have more ammo in an LMG, but those double kills are definitely going to be a bit RNG based, not that hard to accomplish, luckily it's not triple kills, but still, you got to rely on other people in your lobby to just be standing in the correct position so you can get some of these kills done. That's my whole problem with camel grinding, uh, at least over the last couple of years, where some of the challenges require so much RNG and luck from other people in the game, not just your own skill. But now for assault rifles, the class that you guys are probably going to use the most alongside SMGs. We have 800 kills, 125 headshots, 160 stance change kills, 75 hip fire kills, 100 long shots, 100 mountain ones, 180 full attachment kills, 50 reload kills, 110 no attachment kills, and then 35 streaks. So I'm not really sure why they're requiring the most amount of kills for ARs. There might just be more ARs than any other weapon in the other classes. But I just think ARs are the most commonly used weapons in Call of Duty anyway, alongside SMGs and maybe shotguns. So this one's going to be crazy. These might take you quite a bit of time. But I'm curious how the camel grind is going to work when this game does drop. Because there's three weeks in between MW2 and Warzone 2's release. So I wonder if people out there are going to really speed run this. I'm sure they probably will. So that they have full access to all the mastery camels in Warzone 2 on day one. I know I'm not really going to rush that. I do want to make it a bit of a series going for this mastery camel. It should be a ton of fun streaming it here on the channel. So I'm not really in a rush to go ahead and get everything done in like a week or something. But yeah, if you want to get no sleep and go ahead and go for that right away then more power to you it's totally cool but now we have some of the fun classes so here's the riot shield 200 kills 50 injured kills 50 kills from behind 30 dead silence kills 50 stance change kills 25 unknown 25 kills in smoke 10 buzz kills, 25 executions, and 25 streak kills. Now, an update tweet went out from this account saying that one of the unknown challenges for the shield is kill two enemies without dying. I mean, that one's not too bad, but some of these other ones here are probably going to frustrate you guys. So I'm glad we're talking about this in advance, just so you guys kind of have an idea of what to expect when the game does come out, if you do plan on going for the mastery camo. I mean... 200 kills in general is gonna take you quite some time. I mean, 50 kills from behind, just hope that nobody actually looks at you. 50 injured kills, I'm assuming that means you've already taken quite a bit of damage and the shield itself is a bit damaged, then you get the kill. Unless it means the other enemy's already damaged and you just kind of finish them off with the shield itself. Dead Silence is an interesting field upgrade, as I've talked about. I mean... Not only is it nerfed quite a bit where you do an animation to pop it, but people can hear you popping it. And it's not exactly dead silent when you're walking around with that field upgrade. So that one's going to be a bit crazy. And then the kills in smoke. Oh man, you're going to have to go on some smaller maps to get some of that going. I mean, the middle area of Farm 18 is probably a good choice. Hopefully there's other maps in the game that will allow you to be able to do this. But I'm sure you guys are also waiting to see if shipment or shoot else are going to get added to really speed up some of this camo grinding. And then we have the final weapon class here, which I'm sure you guys definitely want to know about the launchers 125 kills 40 attacker kills 40 defender kills 75 aerial kills 75 ground street kills 50 spotter ones 50 support kills 50 alks kills not sure really what that means 50 warhead kills and 50 vehicle kills that sounds like an absolute pain the most difficult camel class here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I mean, the attacker and defender ones obviously got to go on to some OBJ modes, but then the aerial ones, the ground streak kills, luckily there's plenty of 
modes in Modern Warfare 2 that will allow you to really get this done. I mean, at least in Cold War, you went ahead and had uh, Fire Team combine arms. MW19 had Ground War, but looking at MW2, at least you got Invasion. You're going to have your Ground War. Um, it's unclear if this can also be done in Warzone 2 or DMZ. Any of these challenges, at least. I'm assuming that will be the case, unless there's a separate Mastery Camo available in those other modes. They require different challenges. We'll have to wait and see, but this class will probably take you the longest and if anything i'd recommend starting with this class when the game first comes out just to kind of get that out of the way because in recent years of call of duty the launcher class has taken people the longest to actually finish for their mastery camo grind now as a bit of a follow-up to a recent video i made where we talked more about mastery camos in modern warfare 2 i know there was a bug during the beta allowing you to see a bunch of camos at the main menu obviously those are all placeholders from mw19 but i still made a video about it anyway because there was a report that i went over in the video from one of those usual cod leaker accounts claiming that the mastery three camels coming to the game are as follows we have a gold topology like pattern we have a diamond which is supposed to be a bo2 diamond mixed with black and gold tiger and then the final camel is supposed to be a mix between mw19 obsidian and mwr exclusion zone but it'll be green and blue that sounds epic and this account has gotten other pieces of information right in the past so i do think these could be legit and i'm going over that again in this video just in case it kind of gives you an idea as to what you're really working towards uh, especially when it comes to some of these crazy mastery camel unlocks that we just talked about for the different weapon classes but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on these supposed mastery camel challenges here in modern warfare 2 multiplayer do you think they're more difficult than some of the recent challenges we got in other call of duty games and also what are your thoughts on the rumored mastery camels themselves the gold diamond and the final one really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody